Before going too far with SharePoint, it's a good idea to understand how to find your way around the ribbon. SharePoint 2010 replaces menus and toolbars with the ribbon, which stays in line with Microsoft Office programs, such as Word and Excel. Microsoft would say that the new contextual ribbon makes it easier to find the tools you need when you need them most. In this example, we'll use the ribbon to modify the home page of our HR team site. The ribbon starts on the Browse tab. To make changes, I'll start by clicking the Page tab, which displays the editing options I'll need to make changes to this page. Some of the buttons are highlighted, meaning they're available for me to use. After clicking the Edit button, notice how the ribbon is updated to display editing tools and its two associated tabs, Format Text and Insert. Because the ribbon is contextual, when I click on Edit, it knows I'll need editing tools to format text or insert objects on the page. When I'm done editing, the ribbon will return to its default Browse tab. The Format Text tab displays groups of common commands, including the font and paragraph groups. I'll select and update the page title. Clicking Insert displays a ribbon which contains objects that can be inserted into the page, such as tables, pictures, or links. I don't need any of these objects at the moment, so I'll switch back to the Format tab to save my work. You'll notice some of the large buttons have an arrow near the bottom, and this means there are options related to the command. For instance, beneath Save and Close are options to Save and Keep Editing or Stop Editing. For this example, I'll click Save and Close, which closes the editing tools and redisplays the Browse tab of the ribbon. Here's another example using the calendar. Notice how the ribbon has changed to display the calendar tools and its two tabs, Events and Calendar. The SharePoint ribbon lets you work with these parts separately. For instance, to add an event to a calendar, I would click Events, and then New Event. To change the view of the calendar, look on the Calendar tab. You'll find this very similar to the Outlook calendar, where, for instance, you can change the view, overlay multiple calendars, or connect this one to an offline Outlook calendar. To exit the calendar and return to the original view, as before, we'll click Browse. The ribbon works similarly in other parts of SharePoint. Now that you understand how it works, you might wonder how you ever got along without it.